I'm Tom Alsop. I'm a third year graduate student here at the university, and I am studying directing. This is my fourth time directing a show here. This will be the final show I direct here, in fact, as I graduate in May. I think this play is about the, the quote about the importance of history. You know, those who don't study pa the past are doomed to repeat it, right? This play is about um, understanding a time in history, um, understanding what happened, what went wrong, and to try and recognize warning signs so we can learn from it for the future. This particular history play is unique in that we do that, but they've also built a contempor contemporary storyline um, into the show as well. So actually, it's almost a show within a show in a way. Agnes Egling is the protagonist of this place. Alternatively, there's a woman named Zilla Katz who came to Berlin in the year 1990 because she was fed up with the way um, America was headed um, and where they were. Um, and so she came to Berlin and she happens to be living in the same apartment Agnes lived in, but is living here 60 years later. And she's almost learning about the story of a group of characters from the 1930s as well. We never leave this apartment and all the action takes place here. So what's unique about that is we see a group of people dealing with what's happening in their country all through the lens of this. So all of the outside forces they talk about Really, all the forces of antagonism are outside of this apartment. We never see them. They don't appear here. And so since we actively pursued a set design that could live in two worlds, the costumes actually do a tremendous amount of work in helping tell our story. Some characters are decked out in 1930s wear. Some are decked out in, the in 1990. Um, and so that element really helps set the scene. You know, theater is, is incredibly collaborative. So I like to think that I was a creative cog. I love the work during, I love doing all of the um, exploration, the work with the actors, the work with the designers, understanding the play, breaking it down, trying to focus on a central theme and everything like that. So for me it's not like a, a I did it, look at all the work I did, it's alright we did it, it looks good, they've taken ownership, they've made it their own and, it, and, it's, and it's excellent. Whenever I cast a show I look for someone who is going to take a role and make it their own and bring something unique to it. There are inherent, incontrovertible facts about every character in every situation. But beyond that, there's an infinite number of possibilities in terms of how any individual person can play a role. So that's, that's always what I look for. And every single one of these actors made organic, original, unique choices. And the question I always get is, so if, if this is, was written in 1989, uh, or premiered in 89, what is it that makes it relevant today? The, the reason they chose this is because it just feels so incredibly in our socio-political landscape. All directors want to direct something that when the, when, when the lights go out and the, or the curtain comes down or, or the thematic experience, the theatrical experience ends, you're still thinking about it after the fact. You're still talking about it when you go home and maybe the next day and maybe even the next week. I think this is one of those plays that's going to engender the kind of discussion that is going to uh, enable audience members to have those conversations.